Hi, I am DB. I'm Imran J. Khan, and this is me in three. Mustache came from, like, first and foremost, just came from this desire to make something that I hadn't seen before that I wished existed. It really was just me trying to, like, put something out there that was universal and heartwarming and uplifting, but happened to be from, like, my unique point of view as a Pakistani Muslim growing up in the Bay Area. Um, and that's like, that's where it came from. Lucas, Rushmore, She's All That. All of the great coming of age films were kind of references for this. Coming of age films with teenagers are a special genre because we can all relate to that. We can all relate to a time in our lives when we were crossing a threshold. And I feel like all of those films always hit upon that really sensitive time in all of our lives. And I think that's why they're so universal and they're so rewatchable. Prom, um, is a, again, it, in a way, it's a coming of age story. It was based off of Hassan Minhaj's, his comedy special, Homecoming King. I've never gotten a sunburn, I'm hashtag blessed, but. <laughs> he was gracious enough to let me adapt it into a short film. It centers around a teenage boy who faces a very awkward and painful racist occurrence picking up his prom date. What I wanted to do with it was put you in the seat of this character, put you in the shoes of this character, and um, and just have you experience life on that night with him. I'm sorry. It's okay. I learned so much from making that short. It taught me a lot about how do you take something that has at its core an emotional truth to it, and then where do you build the narrative around that? And what choices do you make? Because as a filmmaker, you're making choices like what to include and what to exclude. And that shapes the emotionality, that shapes the storytelling, that shapes everything. And so I learned a lot from that. And I definitely applied a lot of that to mustache when I was looking at my own life and thinking, okay, if, I, if this is the emotion I really want the, the audience to feel and to understand about my experience, how do I craft the events or the or the details to kind of support that so that people can feel what I felt when I was 13. We felt it wouldn't be a good fit. Oh. I had worked in live action a ton um, as an editor and assistant editor, and this opportunity came to work on Minions Rise of Gru. Getting the chance to work on an animated film was like, yes, of course. And then through that, I learned the rigor of storytelling and the rigor of like the creative iterative process. That's carried through in all my work now because I, I can see how you can just throw ideas out, get better ones, and like and not be afraid to like hold on to stuff and be precious. And I think that's something I really took from. Um, watching super talented people do that day in, day out. I try to keep myself in film school. Uh, I want to keep learning and all of these different jobs have been like, okay, now I know how that job works. I know what a boom op is doing. Like I know what um, the editor's doing. Like I understand these jobs because I've done them and they really inform like when I'm on set and we got five minutes to get a shot. It's like that all of that comes into play where I can do the calculation quickly and figure out like what's the best and that's just, what's the best thing to do? And that's just based off of having done a lot of these jobs and just built up experience over time. So I'm just really lucky to have all those experiences coming into directing.